uh, Yeshyokov. And uh, when I say big, he's not particularly big physically, but uh, he's uh, had some superb throws. He's, he just is a very good competitor. And I know that uh, Igor Terevanesian, the chief national coach for the Soviet Union, has very high hopes of him. Thinks he's going to be the next uh, Yanis Lusis. Well, competitively, he began the season well with winning the European Cup. He beat the East Germans. That was uh, Mikkel and Weiss. And incidentally, both of those throwers throw over 80 metres this season and weren't selected for this World Championship because they were considered not to be medal contenders on this occasion. One of the favourites then, second round, Yezhukov. And that's over 80. So he is establishing a platform on which he can build. You see the little shake of the head and the rehearsal as he comes back. The thrower knows. It doesn't have to look where the javelin has gone. He knows exactly where it's going to go. And on that occasion, uh, the feeling wasn't right. That sense of awareness wasn't right. A little bit of a bent arm. And uh, he lost the left side, so to speak. And it was a bit of a salvage job. And having said that, it is 80 metres and 36. Such is the ability of this man. He's certainly capable, I reckon, of uh, going beyond the 87 metres and 66 of Zelezny. I'll be back.